Good morning, everybody. Today is the big day, and we are moving animals. I have my uh, containers laid out for the five that we're moving today. And uh, I have some chicken in the bucket to feed them once we get them moved. And I'm waiting for uh, Justin and my mother to come help us move everybody. See uh, Lily. <laughs> Lily's already taking a swim. Oh, she's gonna hate the new water thing. And Forrest is sitting out on his hide box. And uh, then we have our uh, three black throats. Black beards out already waiting for the morning sun. Um, should be an exciting day. Um, we'll get uh, we'll get the uh, the boxes modified. I know some of them are are new boxes. I know Blackbeard and Forests, so I think I've, we kind of just give away the boxes to, to friends or whatever, and it seems like sometimes I have a lot of boxes and then sometimes I don't have a lot at all. Um, so I had to buy two more of the big ones for the bigger guys. So I need to drill air holes in a few of these. So let's get started on this while we wait. There's one that's already drilled out clearly i've used this box before only holes up top and i am able to zip tie it shut during transport so let's take that off the hammer drill My idea, I mean, that's how I've always had them drilled, but if we stack them, they pretty much seal up those holes. So we'll put just a couple in the container itself. All right, that should be good to go. I just need to do that four more times all right I have the five containers ready all drilled top and sides I made sure the fitment in my truck before I put animals in them and the next thing I need to do is these water tubs these concrete mixing tubs which I'm going to use for water for all the animals to start I'm going to clean them well because they could get mix matched which animal gets what not I don't well I mean I clean them well anyway periodically stupid caution tape everywhere from the house being for sale so I just gotta hose them out and then scrub them out and then Hose them again. One of these days I'm going to shoot a video that is like a day in the life to show you how much work it is between cleaning everyone's water and filling them and weed whacking inside the enclosures, like the whole nine, and show you how much time goes into. I mean, I have. A pretty nice size collection but I wouldn't say large by any means compared to a lot of people and it's a lot of work and that's something everyone needs to consider before they get one of these animals that are gonna get so big it's not shouldn't be an impulsive purchase and if you can't afford the, the animal uh, you know you're counting your pennies to actually purchase the animal i i don't think you're going to be able to afford food vet bills all that it's you have to be ready and in a position in your life to do this like i always tell kids like don't get a dog until you own a house because you get into a situation where your roommate says you got to get rid of your dog or you have to 
change places and you can't find a house that allows pets don't get a dog until you can until you own your own house and you write your own rules hopefully that doesn't upset people I'm just saying like you got to think things out and be prepared for anything because it's not fair to the animal to make a change that it's not ready to make or able to make Look at all the work going into moving these animals, even if it was one fifteenth of all this work, it's still a hell of a lot of work. <laughs> I suppose keeping them indoors, purchasing a cage would be easier, but then certain things are more difficult like everything in life it's uh pluses and minuses all right i'm gonna get the other ones cleaned all right good morning justin what's the pronunciation of your last name kuiper kuiper yes, i wasn't sure if it was keeper kuiper 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 yeah, kuiper all right so justin purchased two of the het black dragons from me last week yes sir they're doing good yes sir doing nice and great. calm yeah yeah i was super surprised Awesome. So whatever you did worked marvelously. And uh, he builds cages also. So he wants to come see the Okeechobee property and maybe give me his input because two mines are better than one. And he's gonna help me move some of the big animals today. So uh, I'm starting to move some of the water trays I put in the truck, some of the palm trees. I moved most of the other plants yesterday and uh, I got one more palm tree to put in the back of the truck, strap it in, and then we're gonna load up the animals. All right, now we need to walk into Forrest's cage and uh, get, well, I guess his Thai plant and his palm tree without him getting too excited about food. Um, and the only thing that's nervous, because he is a tame animal, that's gonna be a little nervous about today, is he hasn't been handled since he lost his tongue. And as you know, before anyone handles a monitor, you put your hand out and let him smell you. So he knows you're a familiar smell and that uh, you're not food. Well, how does that work when he can't smell you at all? I mean, right now, I mean, he was reluctant to eat at first and he has been now eating anything I put down in front of him, but I can't imagine, well, I wish somebody could scientifically tell us does he, does he have taste buds further up his tongue? Can he still smell or taste from further back? Like, is it, is it further back than the fork? I know it is on humans, but I don't know if it is on snakes and monitors. And I guess, how could you, how could you tell? You'd have to sit down and talk with one and have it tell you, oh yeah, I could taste from the back of my tongue. <laughs> so, yeah, I just got to grab the palm tree out of here. I think he's... Well, you know what? We'll grab his palm tree after we grab him. Cool. So, uh, we could start with the black throats because they're going to be easy. Super easy. Well, actually, I take that back. Jane's not going to be easy. She hates me. All the rest of them are going to be easy. Let me grab my gloves. Ideally, we would have had a third person here to film. Where you at, Tom? It's Saturday. That would have made for a better video. So I'm not going to know if I'm going to give you guys the best shot or not. Um, there is no easy way to grab Jane. Um, she's not going to be happy at all. We're going to let Justin grab Joanne because she's going to be a sweetheart. Uh, Jane's gonna fight this though. She's 
she hates me. Well, let's see. Maybe I'll get her where she's not too awake. Oh, oh, wait, wait, watch her. Here we go. All right. We carry her to the driveway and we'll put zip ties on her. And uh, we got a perfect cloudy day. So at least we don't have sun stressing them out, getting their boxes too hot in between all this. Sorry. I think just the four corners. I don't think she's gonna, she's gonna be stacked anyway, so. If you can, yeah, point the zip tie out or down. That way it's not in the way for stacking the next box. It's humid, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sun or no sun, it's, it's hot. Yeah, there's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> She's she's not gonna calm down until she's until she's there. That's all there is to it. And there's Petey. He's here to help. Um well let's do Joanne next. We can do Lily last, because I think she's gonna go on top of the big guys, I think. She's definitely cycling. This is horrible timing. Look at Jackson on the other side. Like he, he wants to get to her so bad. All right, take it easy, Jackson. I got no food, bub. There you go, guys. We'll try this again. Make some pretty babies. All right. So Joanne is a very calm black throat. Just support her when you pick her up. That's all. Um, she's super calm. You almost don't even have to just yeah, underneath their hindquarters and underneath there. Nothing to it. More weight. Definitely twice the weight of Jane. Wait till we get Blackbeard in his. <laughs> He's all cornered. It's a big guy. So tell us a little bit about, I mean, because you were telling me about some of the cool stuff you've built. Yeah. You have. Yeah. So we've, over the last 20 some years, designed and built quite a few different setups for all kinds of animals. So whether it's dogs, chickens, iguanas, snakes, basically anything that moves that needs to be housed outside in Florida, we've uh, sort of foolproofed a few methods. Uh, one one thing we've kind of experimented with a lot now is dry concrete. Yeah, I watched you, some videos on that. For people that don't want to mix it, you know, traditionally, uh huh, it's probably the best, most easy, efficient way to do things. So, and I know with your process, having to mix so much concrete to backfill these cages, you know, it can get a little tedious. I would. Uh... I'd be open to, you know, when I do the slabs before the, the swimming pools, which I'll show you, yeah. I'd be into maybe us picking a day and doing do a, a, just to show a, you how what we call it a dry pour. Yeah. It's just basically forming what you want to, you know, your end result to be. 
And then you pour the bags in and you slowly mist things kind of in a layering concept. And, and it's going to wick up so much moisture from it, the dirt anyway. Yeah, I soaked the ground pretty good. So the first layer has already got moisture from the bottom. So then it's just from the top to the bottom, all in between. I've had two slabs now over a year and a half. You know, there's not, not a lot of weight on it, but I've done traditional pours and I've had cracks within six months and nothing on these, so. Yeah. Can't hurt it. I just, I just gotta close that door just because it, uh, it sends chills down my spine when I see an open door. Right. Especially with the hallway exposed right now. All right, he is gonna bluff. Oh, or he's gonna whip and connect. That's. Come on, dude. Okay, Blackbeard. I'm gonna come down to your level. Okay. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> I mean, the, the one thing like you could be very relaxed about is he's not gonna try and bite you. Right, right. And that sounds <laughs> he he just doesn't like to be picked up. If I walk in there and walk right through that bluff, I can pet him, interact with him, he'll come and eat the food. He's totally cool with that. He just doesn't want to be picked up. And I think we will put the max zip ties. Zip ties. Yeah. And not having much experience with this species, are they always this vocal? No. No, that's definitely In individual. Thing. Usually, they just close their eyes and let you pick them up. I mean, that's to me, that's more the norm. And I'm. Um, funny I was just telling myself yeah don't show that on film but I know I just looked at it which means you guys just saw that that is a cut from a ladder on my leg not from the lizard at all <laughs> that uh he just re-scuffed so even that small one on the end yeah they're just zip ties so why not We don't need any big lizards loose inside the truck while we're driving. So you've also built some big aviaries. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, we're trying we're trying to branch out a little bit. There's a lot of different things you can do for people you know, to house their animals, whether it's birds or dogs or you know whatever the case may be all right i think that's just one here i probably didn't even need this one. Oh, thank you see i was right in front of my face all right now we're gonna go on the other side of the truck this time Should slide straight in. <sighs> Smells like lizards already in there. Thank you for vinyl floors and everything. Um, so I guess it's forest next. Uh, now a totally different approach. Now I'm gonna make him choose me. I'm not gonna force myself on him like I would Blackbeard. Water monitors are definitely different. I would say, not to insult any blackthroats, but like intelligence wise and trust wise and stuff like that, they. So, 
we if this becomes stressful we just won't take him today that's that's how it will have to work and i'll switch this out this afternoon with one of the ones with the floor let him choose his hide box at night and board it up in the morning and then just move the box like i'm not gonna have a stressful bad situation with him come on buddy come on forest come on forest come on buddy let's go you see his tongue nipped off come on buddy you okay I don't know if it's better when they were warmed up. Come on, buddy. Maybe one thing if he was on the shelf, I could walk right to him without hovering over him. But where he's at, I kind of have to like go in and be like right on top of him, which is a bad spot like why couldn't you be in the water so i'm not i could but i'm not gonna force this on them i think i'm gonna move them the other way all right let's see defensive at all no come on come on buddy let's go Let's go. I cannot tell you how much I hate. Come on, buddy. This camera on me. You're okay. What do you think about this? <laughs> would now? <laughs> would you would you climb in it? <laughs> he probably will. If I had a an egg or something like that. Nah, see? I, that right there says he's not sure about what's going on. So we're gonna back off and we're gonna do the hide box thing break to ask you to like share subscribe and ring the notification bell now back to the video all right justin and i are at the property now and uh looking at these cages initially what is your impression like what do you what do you think oh it's amazing it's amazing how 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 these guys are going to be living um, i think you've kind of weeded out some of the things with having too big of a cage I don't know if animals get stressed. I know with some of the iguanas that I've had in years past, put them in too big of an enclosure, it's almost too stressful unless you've got a lot of foliage and a lot of things that, that they can hide in. But I think these are these are perfectly perfect size, perfect things, you know, for them. I didn't notice until yesterday. You just mentioned the foliage, like uh, with the smaller enclosures. I didn't like the layout. Really didn't leave a great place to put plants yeah. so like this is where jane's going to be going into um actually you know what let's put joanne in here joanne is way more social so their water tub goes right here mm -hmm. and the lay box you see how i redesigned the lay box there's there's a lot more dirt in there and the entrances smaller and more secure right. whereas they had that big long slit before and i was afraid that maybe the black throats didn't feel safe when they were laying and uh just looking i need some more staples there um i didn't leave a good place for the plants i mean the pass-through doors here there's really not a great place this i'm thinking maybe something small and green underneath this shelf to occupy that space that they can hide under and have that shade of the plant. Yeah, there's also a lot of running vines that can be managed. It's it's a pain, but if Is you it? can get it going on one side, it can it can walk through one side to 
block visual you know visual barriers but it's a pain down here in south florida it's going to grow like crazy well here's my idea is is i want to grow vegetables in these enclosures you can and some fruit so like what about putting uh, some pumpkin in okay. here and let the pumpkin vine go we crazy did, uh, we did squash zucchini uh three different types of pumpkin this year and it within two and a half months i already had fruit harvest but in with no, animals just, no no because i don't have to worry about a rabbit yeah, munching yeah, yeah, on yeah. it or a rat or anything like that yeah. and this ground is self-fertilized yeah that's what i said it'll you dump that water over every yeah. few days it's yeah. going to be nutrient rich with absolutely with, with, with stuff in it so yeah that, that could well be, that could be a unique spin on a garden we can keep talking about this but i think we need to get some animals in here yeah. so we're going to get started okay we're about to start moving the animals in and my mom, who doesn't want to be on film, ah. is going to be the camera person. So you have to head cut. Um, I think I need some cutters. I think who's in here? Did we do Joanne second? That's the last one, the first cage. The nice one. The nice one. All right, this is uh, Joanne. Um, let me grab some nippers real quick. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Overflow to water for the first time, day one. It's your calling card. Sure is. All right, what do you think, Joanne? We're gonna put you in the front. Well, she's spreading out to enjoy that sun already. We've got her water filled up and we'll bring her some food shortly. We've got the flyers, this is gonna be Jane. Oh, you get to see how bad I flooded her cage out. So funny. Look, <laughs> she she hates me so much that she doesn't want to move in front of me. She's just gonna freeze. And uh, we haven't decided if all of that weight on her, which is more weight than she normally carries, is eggs or not. She wasn't digging at the other house. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna back off let her be and see if she doesn't find this lay box and make use of it 
So we are gonna get Blackbeard next. Shrek? <laughs> you haven't got to see Shrek yet. I saw him on a couple videos. Video does not give him yeah, justice. Not, yeah, not, I mean, this thing is massive. I mean, He's big, but Shrek is big. like, you could just sit there and stare at him all day. So. They're on the yellow. Interesting. <laughs> Could we have moved it without zip ties? Absolutely. Why take a chance though? about that box. He's a bluffer. He does that and then sometimes you come into his enclosure and kneel down and he'll come to you for the attention. It's just he doesn't like it forced on him. I guess I'm the same way. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> yeah. And Jane is still just frozen on her shelf. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Come on. He's just looking as big as he possibly can. High step and walk over to us. All right, we'll let him settle in and then oh, he's walking over to us. What are you doing? Sure. Appreciate you, you person. Didn't like being put in that box, huh? back off we'll let you explore your enclosure and we'll come back with some food all right then the grand finale Lily uh, Justin you're the pliers Like 
really bad about moving her over here without the, uh, I mean, I could actually, we can do that. her right here. Um, I feel really bad about not finishing her swimming area first. And you know what? Why don't we just carry her over and do it? Or at least get it closer, just in case she's a little squirmy or something. shot of her. <laughs> Is that too close? No, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna... There you go, girl. You gonna explore your cage? What do you think, Greg? Does she look happy? And if you guys don't remember, Greg came over and visited her. He is her original owner. And this is her resting body weight. She still has that. This is her without eggs. She's gonna explore around. box. What do you see, Lily? I'll stop talking. I know it's distracting you. So she's checking out her box. Now I may quickly get the flaps off of her old box just to initially give them that security while they're getting used to their new enclosures. walk around and smell and explore every inch of this. She'll probably climb up on the screen. Oh. So we'll let her walk around and explore. And then I'm gonna cut up some chicken so everyone gets a good feed day one. <laughs> all right we got lunch we're back we're gonna cut up some chicken for the animals you might want to stand back because this is messy i switched over to a cleaver at the other house because it definitely splatters a lot less than the machete but sucks compared to my other table all right we cut up the chicken now we're gonna walk over to the enclosure and try and feed these guys um, I don't even have tongs here yet to say where, yeah. where, we, where we're at and how ready we are for animals to be here uh, I'm gonna have to spend the rest of the day getting another ring camera set up I got locks for the enclosures um, I'll be more ready uh, in the next couple days and I think one of the next videos 
not for our channel, but for Kenan's channel, is going to be moving Pinky over here, which I'm gonna have her enclosure ready. I think in the next like three days, I'll have her enclosure ready. Um, and I think we decided at lunch, and I could say it now, that uh, I think we're gonna rush the hallways to get where the hallway door is ready and then we can lock the hallways. So that's the front of all of those enclosures has to be finished and screened, doors hung, back door hung, front door hung, concrete thresholds, all of that has to be done. But then we can lock hallways and I'll feel a lot more secure. Um, give us one second. We're gonna set down maybe the food trays in front of the writing. All right, so we're gonna, go over to Jane's enclosure and Justin just pointed out that uh, she's digging a lot and we were discussing this morning that we think she's gravid and she does she is normally a pretty small bodied monitor this is heavy for her now, remember she doesn't like me so I'm going to stop talking look there you go. Now, I don't know if you guys realize that's crazy for her to be eating in front of me. So that says something. I think she is in egg production. Um, she's feeling the rib cage inside of that chicken and that's why she keeps dropping it again, but she'll get that down, no problem. That's, that's not a lot of food for her. But I mean, that amount of digging, remember we buried that, that wood. See, now she's got it in her mouth. She can't dig underneath that hide. She's been exploring and digging all around. She's already turned her water into a mud soup. Now let's go ahead and close hers. That's uh, honestly really good for her. She never eats in front of me. That says something's going on. Let's see what we can get going on inside of Blackbeard's cage. A whole lot more hissing and grumpiness or are we going to get him to eat some food he already knocked over this plant okay look at this come on buddy yeah Good stuff. <laughs> They're so funny how they, they like to wipe their face off. What are you smelling? gonna walk past your chicken? Huh? He's 
in a weird position. He pulled his tray back and now he's halfway up the ladder. What are you smelling, buddy? You gonna pass up your chicken for me? I don't have anything for you besides that. Oh. If he goes to climb down on that plant, that means I'm gonna have to add another way down. Wonder if that's how he took out that plant last time. I'm in perfect range for him to connect with the side of my face. So. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch, grumpy. Now let's go check on Joanne. I don't think they're going to have any issues with warmth out here because uh, I feel like this yard is way warmer than my other yard. I mean, you just literally stand out here and you start dripping wet with sweat. Come on, Joanne. Come on. She dig. Does she have a? Oh, she's just in here. Were you sound asleep or something? Oh, you know what's funny? I totally forgot that we changed our plans. I was wondering why Jane was eating in front of me. That was Joanne in the front enclosure. This is Jane. Of course she's not going to eat for us. And uh, that's typical her. So we'll just leave our chicken here. <laughs> I totally forgot that we changed that last second. But of, uh, of course Joanne was eating for us. That's hilarious. That is so funny. I, I think because of all the mud on her, I forgot where we were and who we had with us. Well, of course you ate. It was you. You enjoying your shade here? That's so funny. You were so muddy, I didn't know who you were. Well, we'll leave oof, her muddy chicken here. Maybe we'll set it where it's somewhat in the shade. So the sun's going to end up there. This will all be in the shade in just a couple minutes. We'll just let her explore. She can dig wherever she wants. Man, Jane connected with my hand with her tail pretty good. And let's go see what Lily's doing. Maybe that'll be a much friendlier experience. Yeah. She's she's at the door. Will you actually if do me the favor of getting that? Okay, Lily. Billy. Oh, she's been digging. 
and exploring her cage. <laughs> She's such a calm girl. That, that mud is just black. Um, I cannot wait. I think I'm gonna get some seed this week also and get some seed planted. To get something growing on all this dirt. Right, Lily? It's good that she explored. Maybe she explored the new lay box. To see if she likes it. Hopefully she likes it more than her old one. Maybe it's a little more private. I'll bring the cleaver over here and get you a smaller piece next time. Is that too big? And you see I'm sitting here, the enclosure door is wide open. She doesn't move anywhere fast. Yeah, that's a big piece of meat, Lily. She's getting it stretched out. Look at her. She is getting it skinnier so she can fit it. Don't put it up against my shoe though. You're not gonna use me to fit that in your mouth better. Go use this piece of wood right here. Would you eat a sandwich if you had it this dirty? <laughs> Is that the blackening seasoning? I think Justin's going to be getting a black throat. Oh yeah, I knew you weren't going to have any issue with that. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, look at you. Holy cow. You're a pig. I always love how they, after they eat something, you'll see them really spend time to clean their face off and rub it against stuff. Like they don't like to have food residue on them. She's gonna go right back to her food tray. That was a big chunk of chicken right there. Oh man, it is hot. It's too hot to me and I don't have a big water dish to go swimming in. Um, I think I'm gonna have to have more shade in their enclosures. I mean, the males do have sections along their walls, but what about in the very middle of the day? I think there needs to be another plant, at least, in, an, in a cage this size. I thought she was gonna have a hard time getting that last one down, but she got it down. All right, well, that's what we came to accomplish today. We got some animals moved over here now when I'm doing construction, I actually have an animal to show you. So it's not boring for somebody that was here to watch monitor lizards. 
Is he eating again? He's uh, kind of. I don't think he knows what he's doing to right now. He's more <laughs> just exploring. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.